a lobster egg roll at my local Dollar Tree for one buck? This is a cheapskate dining deal I cannot pass up. And this lobster egg roll by Imperial Garden is huge, like a big burrito, almost six inches long. I heated up this egg roll in the microwave. It only took a minute or so. It's pretty quick and, uh, you know, it came out okay. Microwaving an egg roll is not the way to go. It just basically steams it. So that nice flaky crust just kind of comes out soggy. But next time, I would heat it up on a grill so it stays nice and crunchy on the outside. And make sure that you try out this packet of pineapple sauce, which is included with the lobster egg roll. It's very sweet, but it still has a very tart pineapple taste. All right, enough yakking. It's time for chomping. Mmm, not too bad for a Dollar Tree egg roll. And I liked all of the sauteed cabbage and the wonton skin has that deep fried and oil flavor. According to the ingredient list, cabbage is listed first. Next is lobster, then fake crab flakes. Hmm. Well, as for lobster, I think I'm going to have to do an autopsy on this dollar egg roll. Let's see if I can find any lobster. Oh, look. There's some cabbage. Oh, yeah. And there's, there's a little bit of carrot. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, look, look. A little bit of fake crab. Look at that. Well, if there's any lobster in here, I can't find it. I guess I got a bum lobster egg roll. You know, I need to break down this cheapskate dining review into two parts. So this is going to be a twofer review. So, on the 99 cent chef's cheapskate dining scale of 1 to 9, 9 being best, I give the lobster part of this Imperial Garden lobster egg roll a... Hmm... A big fat 0, 0.00. Now... For the veggie cabbage egg roll part, I'm going to give it a tasty seven, yeah. Mm -hmm.